Hi everyone, follow along with me as I show you how to submit your website to Google using Google's free tool called Search Council. Now what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna first verify ownership of your website and then we're gonna submit a sitemap to Google and that's gonna allow you to start showing up and getting indexed on Google search engine. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to Google Webmasters where we're going to start the verification process. So you can do that at google.com forward slash webmasters and sign in or click Search Console. Honestly, that's gonna take you kind of in a roundabout fashion to get to the verification. So what I recommend you doing is go to google.com forward slash webmasters forward slash verification. <laughs> this will get you here a lot faster and you are gonna have to log in with the Google account or create one if you don't have one. From here, you're gonna see the Webmaster Central, which is going to be where you add your property. Now I know this can be a little confusing considering Google Search Council used to be called Google Webmaster Tools and they recently changed that, but yet there's still a few tools that are kind of under this name called uh, Webmaster and so on. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna click add a property and you're gonna enter the website that you want to add so that you can get verified on Google Search Council. And so make sure that you are including the right version of HTTP or HTTPS depending on what your site is. Generally, if you just grab the site address from your browser URL, it'll include this. The next thing you're gonna do is click continue. From here, you're going to see a variety of ways that you can verify the site. Now, most likely it's gonna be defaulted on the domain name provider. Don't go this method. Honestly, the quickest and easiest way to do this is to scroll down and click HTML tag. Basically what this is gonna do, it's just gonna allow you to put a small piece of code in the header of your website and then basically we're gonna verify and because that code is in the header of our website, Google will then verify it. So the next step can be done a few different ways. You can get this code on your website a few different ways, but honestly, the easiest way to do this for a small business that's using a WordPress website is through the free SEO plugin called Yoast. Now a lot of websites already come, you know, pre-installed with Yoast. It's a free plugin. I highly recommend it for any small business just looking to get started with their SEO. So you're gonna install that on your WordPress site. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom left of your WordPress backend, and you're gonna just see this SEO title here with the Yoast icon. From here, you are gonna to navigate to Webmaster Tools, which is the third tab and you're gonna see a few different Webmaster Tools verifications. Now these are the major search engines. So the one we're gonna worry about right now is Google. So if I simply paste that code that I got from Google Webmaster Central and click Save, what this tool Yoast is gonna do is now that code is embedded in the header on my website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Webmaster Central and, and one other thing you might wanna do is just go to your website and refresh it. That'll give it a second to kind of kick in. You might also need to clear your cache on your site. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give this a shot and click verify. Now I've technically already verified this site in the past, but it looks like it did take again. So next it's gonna say, you know, great job. Your site is verified. But from here, there's one other step I'm gonna to recommend to you, and that is to submit your sitemap to Search Console. And you'll simply do that by clicking here on this link that says Search Console. Or you can always go to search.google.com. Now Google currently, at the time of this video, they're sort of transitioning from the old version of Google Search Console to this new version, so there might be a little bit of difference by the time you do this uh, and when you're watching this video. 
So the next step I'm gonna recommend is to add your sitemap. This is just gonna kind of be the final step to get Google to know that your website exists. And if you don't know what your sitemap URL is, again, if you're using a plugin like Yoast, and it doesn't have to be Yoast, any SEO plugin on WordPress will have this functionality. But in Yoast particularly, we're gonna just navigate over to features. And if we come down here to XML sitemaps, make sure this is turned on by the way also. And if you just click this question mark, you're gonna see the button here for see the XML sitemap. And here we have our sitemap. I am just gonna grab the link here. I'm gonna head back over to Google Search Console. I don't need the full URL. I simply just need this, um, this portion after the forward slash, which in this case is gonna be sitemap underscore index dot XML. Now for you, it might be a little bit different. Some plugins simply use sitemap.xml. Um, it could be something different. So just kind of keep that in mind. And then all you're gonna do is click submit. And then from here now, you've got your new sitemap submitted and Google will start, start crawling it. And you now will have a much greater shot of showing up on the Google search engine. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Check out the resources in the description below, including a link to an article on my website where we deep dive into Google Search Console. If you like this video and you wanna see more just like it, subscribe to my channel where I provide actionable and easy to understand search engine marketing tips just like this for business owners, entrepreneurs, and marketers. Hit the subscribe button below, and when you see that bell pop up, click that too, and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you in the next one.